How do I set up the Google Maps for my premium press theme? Well, in this tutorial, I'll show you how. Let's take a look at one of our premium WordPress themes. In front of it, we have the directory theme and we're on the contact page. If we scroll down, you can see we have a main contact form, but there's no mapping options. There's no map on the right hand side. And also, if we look at the search options, there are no mapping options for our search page either. So let's go ahead and sort those out. Firstly, let's log into the admin area. We click on premium press, click on settings. And the section we're going to be looking at is this section called Google Maps. Now this is slightly misleading because it not only uses Google Maps, we have other mapping options as well. So all of the map options for your premium press team are found under this section here. Now, before I continue, I would recommend that if you are just setting up or you're unfamiliar with Google Maps, to skip Google Maps and go straight to Mapbox. Setting up Google Maps is actually quite confusing and they have a paid system. So you basically have to pay to use their mapping APIs. Whereas Mapbox currently offer a free option and it's much, much easier. So if you have to use Google Maps, let me show you how to use it. But remember, we do recommend you use Mapbox. Again, if we go back to our page, you have the option to enable maps, select your map provider so we can use Google Maps or Mapbox. The final map provider, which is called Basics Country City, is where you can use the country and city options, but obviously there's going to be no map. So there'll be no map display on your website. So again, select Google Maps and the API key is what we need to get it working. So to set up a Google API key, we can click on this link here and go to Google to generate one. Now, generating an API key in Google is no easy task. You need to set up your billing account first, then you need to create a project, and then you need to add APIs to that project, and finally, you need to generate a key. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna set up a new project, so we can click at the top section here. We click on New Project, and we give it a name. So I'm just gonna give this one New Maps 3, since I've created different demos before. Once I've created my new project, it might take a moment. I should see it in my map selection option here. So once it's created, let's just give it a moment. Okay, it's now visible. I can simply click on the map to go ahead and assign new APIs to this project. So as you can see at the top where it says API services and also on library on the left hand side, it's the same option. Let's go ahead and enable API services. We need three different APIs for Google Maps. We need places, so let's start with places. Click on the places API and enable it. Okay, once that's enabled, we need to add another one. We need the, the geo API. So let's go ahead and add the geo encoding API. We also need the geo location API, even though I did say there was three, this is actually the before and finally we need the javascript map api so here's the maps javascript api so you need to enable all of these apis on your google maps account so just a quick recap we've added a project we're now adding apis to this project and then we need to generate an api key to generate the api key you simply click on credentials if there's no key currently available, we click on create credentials and it says API key. And here is where you can get your API key. So you copy this, you go back to your website, you paste it in the box, you save your changes. And hopefully that's it. Obviously make sure you've enabled the maps. One thing to note before I continue though, is you need to set up billing in your Google Maps services. If you do not set up billing, the maps page won't load fully. So if I go back to my website, let's view the contact page scroll down you can see the map is now set up but because I haven't set up billing you're gonna get this option here and obviously this is a demo so I'm not gonna set up the billing options but once you set up billings you'll be able to visually see the map and users can obviously use and interact with the map as normal so again it's a very quick tutorial on how to set up Google Maps we do strongly recommend that you use Mapbox instead of Google Maps simply because it avoids all of the billing options and payment options and it gets you set up straight away Thanks for watching and if you did enjoy this video, consider giving it a thumbs up or a like and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.